Let's install and set up UiPath and create our first robot. So open up a browser and head to uipath.com. Choose the orange icon up here in the right corner, try UiPath free. You can choose to sign up with either your Google, Microsoft or LinkedIn account or an email. I prefer email. So fill in the fields with your information. I will fill in with mine. I live in Denmark and then a mail. Like this. And for the password, we see that we got some requirements. I choose to use RoboForm. It can automatically generate me a password. I can just click copy here. And it lets me save all my passwords in one extension. I can recommend this. There's a link to it in the description below. So paste in the password like this. I'll confirm that I agree to the license terms. That's fine. Then you can specify to receive information by email. They'll send you a lot of useful information and teaching. However, they will send you one to three emails every day. Now you're warned. I just click sign up. It's taking me to the automation cloud where I can download UiPath. That's here. That's your personal space. So click the blue button here, download UiPath Studio. When it's finished downloading, you can just click it and install UiPath. The installation will start as you can see here. It will take you like one minute. Like this. All you need to do is now click the sign in. You can see that a browser pane opens and just click open UiPath and you are now signed in. We can choose between UiPath Studio Pro, UiPath Studio or UiPath Studio X. We will choose UiPath Studio Pro as it is the most comprehensive solution. So click that. Choose between Preview or Stable. Preview will get you all the latest, coolest updates and Stable will be a little bit more stable with less frequent updates. I'll always go with Preview. I never experienced any problems. So take that one. Here we can choose Source Control. It's not really an issue. So just take each of them and click Continue. This is UiPath and just click Don't Show again here and click Close. One cool trick that I want to show you is down in the right corner where your system tray is, that is where your calendar and your clock is. So click the up arrow and then choose the UI path assistant. It says UI, I'll click it in. That's this one. This is the UI path assistant. It is a desktop launch pad that will let you easily start all your automations. However, this desktop launch pad won't start automatically with Windows. We'll need to fix that. So go down to your start menu here, search for run like this, then type shell colon startup like this, click OK. It will open up a folder and right now it's empty. We can fill in shortcuts to applications and when we do this, it will start up automatically with Windows. That's quite easy. So again, we go down to the start. We search for UiPath Assistant. It's here. We then right click. Open file location here. Let me drag it a little bit ahead. And now we have the shortcut here. So all we need to do is right click. Copy, then go over to the startup folder and control V paste it in like this. That's it. Now our UiPath assistant will start automatically with each Windows startup. Now the thing you probably waited for, let's create our first robot. So open up the UiPath client. It's here. Let me expand it a bit so we can easily see what's going on. Like this. One thing that I'll recommend you to do is to go down to Tools, click the Chrome, as we will use Chrome a lot when automating in UiPath. Then click OK. Do we want to force close them? Fine with me. Now the UiPath extension is installed for Chrome, so click OK. Like this. Then go to Start. Under New Project, click Process. 
We can choose a name for it. I'll call it my awesome first robot. We could also specify a location for our workflow. This is the default. I'll just let it be here. A description is not mandatory, but if you want, you can choose it here. Also, the language, let's automate with VB. We could also choose C Sharp. This tutorial is in VB, so choose that one. Then click Create. Here, that's how UiPath looks. Click the Open Main Workflow here. This is our canvas, and now let's create our first robot without going too much in detail about it. Down here, click Activities. We will search for a open browser here. Simply just drag it in. What this does is, of course, open up a browser. Then type in your URL here. And in UiPath, whenever we want to type in strings, we use quotation marks around it. So type in quotation marks like this. You can see that it automatically will add in quotation mark in the end as well. Now type your address. I'll choose https colon forward slash forward slash google.com. This one will open up Google. We could also choose to specify which browser type that we want to automate in. So click the drop down arrow over here in the right in properties. Choose Chrome. This one will open up Chrome. We can see that we could also have chosen Internet Explorer, Firefox or Edge. Now to run our automation, go up here to the debug file and click the drop down arrow here and choose run file. That's it. Let's go to the browser. It happens so quickly. That's it. We have now opened up a browser and more important, we have now created our first robot. Let's do something with that robot here in the browser. Maybe just click there. I'm feeling lucky. So we go back to UiPath. And now here in the do, drag in an activity. So click the cross up here. Find a click like this. Choose the one with mouse click and drag it in here. The only thing that we'll need to do is to indicate where we want to click. So click the blue words here. As you can see, we can click everywhere in the browser or on the Windows desktop for that matter. I want to click, I'm feeling lucky. So left click here with your mouse like this. And now we can see that we have our automation. So let's try to close down the browser again and run the automation. So the drop down arrow up here, run file. That's it, our automation ran. So let me minimize UiPath. And here we can see that we got lucky and had Ali Burgers 117 years old birthday. That was very easy, wasn't it? Click the video to the left to go to your next lesson or click the video to the right if you want to see how to build an entire UiPath robot use case step-by-step. Step. You can do it, I'll promise you. Bye-bye.